So, you got a degoogled Graphene OS phone and now are having buyer's remorse. You are not alone. Normal people coming from standard spy phones often experience serious withdrawal symptoms because of the quality of many of the apps on degoogled phones is bad. Because of that, many end up relapsing and going back to their old spy phones. In this video, I'll give suggestions for apps and services that make the degoogled experience as good or almost as good as what the spy phones offer. One of them is a commercial app, albeit free. The rest are open source apps and one is a commercial service that is built on open source software. First, maps and navigation. Most tutorials dealing with degoogled phones suggest navigation apps based on the OpenStreetMaps project, such as Organic Maps or OSM A&D. However, those maps just aren't in the same league with Google or Apple Maps. And for someone expecting Google Maps level of quality, OpenStreetMaps is a non-starter. So, is there a really good alternative to Google or Apple Maps that isn't tied to Google or Apple at all? Yes, there is. It's called Here We Go Maps from a company called Here Technologies that is majority owned by German car makers Audi, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz. And Here We Go is what they use in their in-car navigation systems. You can download Here We Go from the Aurora store. Here We Go has turn-by-turn -turn directions and traffic updates just like Google or Apple Maps and a large, up-to-date database of points of interest, like rest areas, airports, gas stations, hotels, parks, and such. It also shows the current speed limit and your, sp and your speed, and can warn you if you're going over the speed limit. Those functions also work in offline mode, and that offline mode is the gem of this app. You can download entire countries or just selected states or provinces to the phone local storage and here we go will give you turn by turn directions with no internet access. After using here we go as the only navigator for almost two years, I have found the maps to be very accurate and up to date. To get the voice directions working, you will need to enable speech services by downloading and installing RH Voice from FDroid. RH Voice is an open source speech synthesizer. If you don't enable the speech services, here we go will work, but whenever they're supposed to be talking, it just dings. This video is brought to you by privacyproshop.com, where you can get truly anonymous LokiNet VPN that hides your IP address with Onion Routing. Try it for two days for just one dollar. Pay anonymously with Monero, Bitcoin, and several other cryptocurrencies. Credit cards are also accepted. Pro tip, click up here to learn how to get an anonymous Visa card. Cloud services, that's contacts, calendars, photo backup, file sharing. What about those? Half of the magic of Google and Apple spy phones is the cloud services. Storing contact information, backing up photos, keeping my calendar and also for email. A lot of normal people miss those when they switch to a degoogled privacy phone. However, there is a fix. When browsing the F-Droid App Store, I found this Swiss company called Infomaniac that offers three apps in the F-Droid Store that are fully open source and made to work with their cloud. Those apps are K-Sync, K-Drive, and K-Meet. If you live in certain countries, you can sign up for free for up to 15 gigabytes of storage. Otherwise, you'll need to pay. It seemed to be inexpensive enough, so I paid for an account. Paid accounts include a lot more storage too. I have a link to Infomaniac in the description below. I'm not sponsored by them, and I have never even communicated with anyone from there, so the link won't give you a discount or anything like that. I'm just a satisfied customer referring them. And then a recap of the Infomaniac apps in F-Droid. K-Drive. This app is a lifesaver. It uploads pictures automatically to Cave Drive for backup, and it integrates with Android File Manager 
and allows you to access and sync files in the Infomaniac K-Drive cloud. K-Sync is Infomaniac's customized version of the open source DAVX5 app, which is a CalDAV and CardDAV synchronization client for Android. K-Sync automatically syncs my calendars, contacts, and tasks with the Infomaniac cloud, and I can then download them to any new degoogled phone I get in the future. K-Sync automatically set up my favorite calendar app, eTAR. If you haven't used eTAR, you should. You can find it in F-Droid. For tasks, K-Sync supports an app named OpenTasks, which it suggests to install if it isn't installed already, and configures it. K-Sync makes those tedious tasks almost automatic, as logging into a Google account does on a normal spy Android phone. K-Meet is similar to Zoom for online meetings, but you can also use it anonymously and without an account. Just download the app from F-Droid, start the app, fire up a meeting, and share the meeting URL and the, with the other participants. And they can join with a web browser or the K-Meet app, which is available for iOS, Mac, Windows, or Linux, in addition to being available for Android. If you wish to schedule meetings, you'll have to sign up for a free K-Meet account with Infomaniac. On my computer, I use their website for managing files, emails, calendars, and contacts, just like you would Google or Apple Cloud. And they have the K-Drive file sync app for my desktop computer too, for syncing files between the degoogled phone, computer, and the cloud. Infomaniac has some other cool free services like K-Paste, which sends end-to-end -end encrypted one-time text messages that can self-destruct after a certain amount of time. You can put as much text in the messages as you want. I guess it's useful when you need to send the text of an entire book to someone else. Another service they have is Swiss Transfer, which is for uploading very large files, up to 50 gigabytes, and then sharing the download link with those who need the file. You can set limits like the expiration dates, passwords, and the number of times the file may be downloaded. And then onto camera. The best degoogled phones are Google Pixel phones with Graphene OS operating system. Pixel phones are known for their amazing cameras. However, it turns out that most of the amazing camera part is actually the amazing software made by Google. It's amazing, you can pay a lot of money for software developers when your money comes from spying on your users. When you switch to Graphene OS, you realize that the stock camera app is just awful. What can you do? Well, there is no perfect answer, but the best answer that I have found is an app called Open Camera. It's a lot slower than the Google Camera app, I mean, a lot, and doesn't have all the whiz-bang quality, but it's vastly superior to the stock camera app. Open Camera has an incredible number of configuration options, and by default, it doesn't store geolocation data in your pictures or the compass bearings, which the Google app does. Then what about FaceTiming or video calling? A lot of people use FaceTime, Facebook Messenger, or WhatsApp for video calls in the normal world. All of them are spy apps, so you'll need to use some other app for video calling. I recommend Signal for this as it works extremely well on all major platforms. That is iPhone, Android, Mac, Windows, and even Linux. And it is easy enough for non-technical people to install and use, so your friends and relatives will be more willing to use it. I use the APK version of Signal from Signal.org, and it has worked flawlessly. Notifications work properly, and it has a built-in updater that lets me know when a new version is available. Signal is end-to-end -end encrypted, so the content of your calls can't be snooped on. Signal also allows group video and voice calling similar to FaceTime, so you don't have to give up on that either. Weather. It seems like such a small thing, but having the weather forecast on the screen all the time is really nice. But the choices in that department aren't many in the de-googled world with F-Droid. 
all of the apps seem to use openweathermap.org for the weather data. The app that seems to work best is Radar Weather, primarily because you can accurately set your location. It looks like it's straight from 2009, but hey, if it works, who cares? Radar Weather has both the app and a widget for Android home screen. Probably the biggest challenge to Radar Weather is to get a functioning API key from openweathermap.org. The only way to make it work now is to subscribe to their one call by call plan. It is essentially free as it offers 1,000 free API calls per day, but it requires a credit card for overage billing. I have a video on how to do that if you click somewhere up here. And that's all she wrote. Have a great day.